Hey, welcome back to another Dreamweaver tutorial. This is James from dreamweavertutorial.co.uk. This is a basic introduction to some of the Spry features in Dreamweaver CS4, and we'll be looking at a Spry collapsible panel. Okay, so here we are in Dreamweaver CS4. I'm in Design View. Uh, we're not going into Code View at all on this tutorial. And to insert a spry panel, we're going to go to the Insert menu. Now you can select it from Layout Objects, and there's a list of spry options there, or you can go down to the Spry menu and select Spry from there. So we're going to go to the Spry menu and select Spry Collapsible Panel. Now once you do that you'll find that the spry panel has been inserted into design view. Now at the moment it's just a shell but let's preview that in a browser to see what we're looking at. Now you do get a little bit of script that gets carried over which is your CSS and JavaScript and that's created in a folder called spry assets which is in your files panel. Okay so I'm going to preview that in Mozilla Firefox and you can see that there's a tab panel which has got a rollover effect and you've got the content panel which is naturally where you'd put the content and if you click on it you'll see that it turns blue and the content collapses inside of the tab panel which just disappears underneath it now the great thing about these spry assets is that you can amend them or adjust them however you want to you can add images, background images, rollover effects, colors um, anything you really want to. So I'm going to insert an image by going to insert image and I've selected an image that I'm going to put on top of the rollover effect. So I've just inserted that and I'm going to give it an alternative text of Dreamweaver. Now I'll put that image in by deleting the words tab and then with my cursor still inside the tab panel I've inserted the image. So let's preview that in the browser and you can see that the, the tab panel is extended to match the size of the image there and the rollover effect is still in place but it's not affecting the image on top. Okay, now with the spry collapsible panels you do get a certain amount of CSS which is written over into your spry assets folder. Now if we have a look at the CSS, you can get the CSS by going to window and then select CSS and I'll just expand the panel here and you'll see that there's quite a bit of CSS uh, which is written over that controls how the panels work with the rollover effects, the colors, background colors, etc. Okay, so let's switch focus over to the content area of the spry collapsible panel and I'm going to delete the word content and as I do you'll find that the div tag collapses that's perfectly natural and I'm going to retype tutorial 1 uh, naturally because this is dreamweavertutorial.co.uk and I've used my spry collapsible panel to make tutorials now I've put in page breaks so that I can put each tutorial closely knit together but I've just pressed enter which you can now see that the content area is in its own separate div tag okay so I'm going to change the background of that div tag with the content in it and I'm actually going to create a new CSS rule so I'm going to go over to my CSS styles panel click on the new CSS rule style icon and I'm going to target the outer div tag which is the main encompassing div tag and it's called it collapsible panel 1 that's fine and I'm going to go into the background category and I'm going to change the background color to black and you will notice that the text disappears. Well, that's because the text is also black. So I'm going to go into the type category and I am going to adjust the text. And I think I'm going to turn that into a yellow color just to contrast it well. Okay. Now there's one other thing that I need to do, which is to adjust the width because it's a bit too wide for my liking. So I'm going to go back into the CSS rule for collapsible panel one that we just set up. Go to the box category and I'm going to adjust the width to 407 pixels and click apply and you can see that it's starting to look just like the one that's on dreamweavertutorial.co.uk homepage so let's preview that in the browser now and save all the changes 
Okay, so we can see that the collapsible panel is still working in the confines of how it was originally set up. The only thing that I've done is styled the background, the text, and I've put an image in place over the top of the rollover effect. Now, I'm going to introduce you to the behaviors panel so that we can add a few more effects, and I'm going to apply an effect to the image. So I've clicked on the image, and now I'm going to go to Window, and I'm going to scroll down till I find behaviors. You can also press shift and F4. And you'll see the behaviors panel appears beside your CSS styles panel and there's all sorts of behaviors you can apply. Now go and click on the plus icon and that will bring up a separate menu and we're going to go over to effects which is new to Dreamweaver CS4 and I'm going to select appear and fade. And it's asking if I want to target the current selection, and I do, because that's the image. But I can also select the collapsible panel one if I wanted to. Now the effect duration, I'm going to leave as it is. And I'm going to select the effect to appear from 0 to 100%. And I'm going to click OK. Now the toggle effects, that's if you want the user to be able to toggle the effect on and off as they go. OK, now as a default, the effect applies to on click. I don't want it to be on click, so I'm going to click inside there, bring down the drop down menu, and I'm going to select on mouse over. So when someone mouses over the image, the effect will take effect. <laughs> OK, now remember I targeted the image on its own. If I did target the collapsible panel, the whole thing, the effect would apply to the whole panel itself so if it appears and fades the whole panel is going to appear and fade. Now I've just made a change to the JavaScript so it's asking me if I want to save that and I do. So now we're back in the browser and as you see as I roll over you can see that it fades in and out from 0 to 100 percent. Okay so let's go back into Streamweaver CS4 and we'll apply a few more effects so I'm going to edit undo the effect that I've just put into place and that will take away the JavaScript changes that we made etc etc. Okay so the slate's now clean so I'm going to click on the image again to target the image and I'll click on the plus icon in the behaviors panel uh, go to effects and this time we'll select shake and apply that effect instead. There's a lot less to choose from from the shake so I'm just going to apply it to the current selection which is the image and press OK. OK, so again it defaults to on click. I'm going to change that to on mouse over. And we'll preview that in the browser now. OK, let's test this effect out. So I'm going to mouse over the Dreamweaver Tutorials image and you can see a little shake occurs there. Not really for me to be honest, so I'm going to go back into Dreamweaver and we'll experiment with another change. So I'm going to edit undo again twice and you can also do that by pressing Control Z by the way and let's go to the plus icon go to the effects panel and this time I'm going to select squish and apply it to the current selection press OK and we'll preview that in the browser so go up to globe icon save the changes and we'll see what this effect looks like so um, this is on click this one so I've just clicked on that and you can see it squished down and the content comes out. So just play around with the effects, uh, see what suits you best. Um, there's one more thing I want to show you. I'm just going to edit undo. You'll see that once I hover over the panel tab, you'll see a little eye. Now, if you click on that, it will close it or open it, which can help with editing. And if you look down into the properties panel, you'll see a default state of open. If you set that to closed, when people load up your web page initially, it will show as closed rather than open. OK, I'll show you what I mean by displaying it in a browser. It's currently set to default state of closed, and there you go, it's closed.